Heart disease and high blood pressure are two of the biggest health problems we face today. And for people dealing with those issues, finding recipes that are low sodium and taste great can be difficult. But not if you have a clinical dietitian in your kitchen. Allison Dilzell joins us now. Allison, what's on the menu? Joe, what you just mentioned is a common misperception that a lot of people have. But just because you're reducing the salt doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose the flavor. And today, I put together a few recipes that are not only low in salt, but are going to please just about any palate. So first up, we have some flank steak and a mushroom mustard sauce. The important thing to remember about flank steak is that it comes from a muscle that's at the bottom of the animal, so it, it's used a lot, so be careful not to overcook it, otherwise it can get a little bit tough on you. And when you're cutting it, make sure to cut it against the grain in nice thin slices. Our mustard sauce here utilizes a couple of really high flavor ingredients, which is very important when you're trying to cook a recipe without salt. Our ingredients that are high in flavor are going to be our Dijon mustard, our garlic, and our freshly cracked black pepper. Now the black pepper is what is crusted in on the flank steak. The more pepper you use, the more spice it's going to have, so you can um, change it to your personal taste. The mushrooms that we have here, we have some baby bellas as well as some little white mushrooms. And I'm just going to garnish with a little bit more green onion to give a little bit of color. And that looks beautiful. Our next item is a grilled lemon sage chicken. Our chicken, we pound it out thin to make it nice and tender. It also helps to speed up the cooking time when it's nice and thin like that. We've marinated our chicken and again some high flavor ingredients such as our fresh herbs. We have fresh rosemary and fresh sage. We also have some lemon juice and some fresh lemon zest. You, I recommend marinating for at least a half hour, but the longer you marinate it, the more flavor that's going to soak into the chicken. So if you want to do it overnight, that will give you the most flavor. Um, and we're just going to garnish with a little bit more rosemary. And you can also add just a little bit more lemon zest on top before you serve to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Our final dish is a yellow squash casserole skillet. It utilizes a bunch of different vegetables, of course, the yellow squash. We also have some shredded carrot. We also have some green pepper in here. And there is just a very tiny bit of salt, but what really gives the flavor in this dish is our herbs. Um, you can use fresh herbs or dried herbs. Fresh herbs will always give you a lot more flavor, but dried herbs are always fine to pitch, whatever is easiest for you. We have some low-fat cheddar cheese. I always recommend going for the low fat or light cheese instead of the fat free because the fat free cheese has a lot more salt. And we've topped off our dish here with some plain breadcrumbs. So here you go. We have three wonderful dishes, high in flavor but low in salt. Allison, nice variety in those low salt recipes today. If our viewers would like a copy of those recipes, where can they find them? They're all available on the web at wkno.org or smartmedicine.tv.